Do you bemoan the, the, the loss of traditional masculine values? I belong to a different generation, a simpler world. I mean, my, my father, for example, as a boy growing up, I was hugely impressed by him. He, he, he had been a boxer in the army. Uh, he, he was a man who admired masculinity and admired strength. One of my memories ask, uh, of him, actually, is that uh, as a hobby, he used to cut trees down with an axe. And I remember, he sounds like Vladimir Putin. Well, <laughs> he didn't have his own air force, but I, I remember going out sometimes, calling him in from the fields in the evening, and you'd follow the sound of the axe across the fields. So uh, when you went to school, you were told, be a man, take your punishment, stand up, be a man, go behind the handball, handball alleys, be a man. And so it never arose in our imaginations that we were excluding people yeah. or that... Yeah. We were taking the centre ground. And let me say this to you, Brandon, it's an important thing yeah. to say. I've been sitting in these studios for 42 years now in television and radio and newspapers, and in all my time, I have never heard somebody say, don't have that person on, it's a woman. Never, okay. ever heard that. Never had the conversation about gender, actually. Alison O'Connor, I can see yeah, you wanting to come in there. What is unusual about this table, and very unusual, in uh, I've been around radio and television studios maybe not quite as long, is, but what is very unusual about this is the gender balance that's at this table. And that like, in I'm, my only, experience, I'm only half a man, to be yeah, honest. In, like my, <laughs> in my experience, that is highly unusual. I mean, you may never have heard somebody say that, but that didn't mean that it wasn't acted upon. I mean, how many female newspaper editors do you You're know? You're never how off many the media. Every time I turn on, you're on the media. She's not yeah, on the media. Dis no. I'm not are you all, exactly. Am I, am I all women? You could, no, no, you could say that I'm... Are you discriminated I'm... against? Have you ever been discriminated against? But you, Tom, I, I, I am a... It's I mean, like, I mean, this is part look, of the look, problem look, that you're saying that the, you, you, you pick out one woman, no. you use that as a typical example, and you say that that represents no, no, all women. No, you, if you, you look at the but numbers... Tom, I'll ask you a simple question. Have you ever been discriminated against? But of course I have been it, discriminated against. In terms of your career as a journalist. Yes, because I have had, I have had two, two children. That has affected my career. I'm now a freelance journalist. That has made a massive difference to my, to my earning power and to the way in which I've conducted my, uh, conducted my career. And I feel that my career could be very different now if I hadn't made, been forced into making the choices that I did. But you were told you can't work full time and have children. No, this is, I'm saying that it's, to me it's the way that society sets it up in terms of women having children in the manner in which they're able to go back to work and their earning power. Now, how often have you been on the television or the radio and looked around and said to yourself, there are far too many men here, there aren't enough women. Well, you live in a world, for, uh, you live me, in a male macho world, no, 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 where you just assume, you say that? Where you, you say just, that? no, but you assume. I don't live in a male, okay, you, 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 you assume that, no, no, that, no, no, that that's the way I, it I is. I have okay. to be gender blind and say, I don't go around counting how many men and women are in a situation, you know. That, you don't I, have to, no, but, that's but, the but, that's, but that's an extraordinary, for example, I work for years on sports television, the majority of people of the technical staff are women. In radio, radio is... is, Who is make the uh, men the look good. The men are out front. Oh, Alison, the men come on. Have the the men on. are the ones with the profile, and the women in behind make the men look good. Don't look that at doesn't deserve an answer, actually. That's, 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 Tom, that's Tom really... it's the reality. Guys, Who gets know, six times the salary of the, production, of the production of the production I, I, team I've in behind? I've said to you, in all my years of long experience, right, and I sat in the studio 42 years ago and did the first colour programme out of this station, I never, ever heard in an editorial meeting Let's have them because they're a man or woman. We wanted people who were, who, were, who, were, who were quality, who had knowledge, who would add to it. And also who was available was the other one. You and know who, yourself, Lena, who who's available. And who 80% of the time had penises. And he, uh, uh, That's okay. the reality. Okay, I think